You tell me. Why the fuck are you here? Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Constellation Episode 6 Recap, with the biggest twist and ending explained. Apple TV offers a window into another universe. William Catlett gives an outstanding performance in this episode, which feels like a climax. The big picture of the content. 1. William Catlett's excellent portrayal sells the parallel point of view while catching the core of the story. 2. Director Joseph Cedar recreates the unsettling atmosphere of the first episode, resulting in a complete circle narrative. 3. The episode's climax feels like a wrap-up, leaving little space for intrigue or speculation about future episodes. Let begin. Paul is Dead, the sixth chapter of the Apple TV mystery constellation, is one of those television episodes that we all expected. Over the course of its first five chapters, the Peter Harness created series introduced us to a planet infected by another, a cosmos partially occupied by astronauts who discovered a junction in space and chose the wrong route. It was only a matter of time before it revealed what was going on in that universe's twin, parallel world a reality in which Paul Lancaster, contrary to the episode's title, is still very much alive. However, it is not their Paul Lancaster who has returned from his mission to the International Space Station, but rather another's. Paul, like Joe Erickson, who survived in a foreign nation, returns to a different family and co-workers, and these changes may push him to the point of no return. The predictability of its presence does not diminish the significance of Paul is dead. While the first half feels a little repetitious because we've seen it all before, the episode manages to capture the creepiness of Constellation's debut episode. Witnessing the events from Paul's perspective, we are once again stuck on the is with a dead body, hearing breathing sounds and voices that should not be present. These moments, while not particularly spectacular, are shot in a way that makes spectators nervous. Our anxiety echoes Paul's as he is disturbed by Joe's unsettling body and is eventually obliged to leave her behind. Could this be a mirror to what happened during Arena Lysenko's journey years ago, when a cosmonaut who may or may not be her doppelganger was abandoned in space? Maybe. In any case, Paul is dead has a wealth of information about the past. The question now is how these responses will affect the broader plot. The first thing to note about Paul is Dead is that it is carried, for the most part, by an outstanding performance by William Catlett. We already knew Numi Rapace was an excellent performer, but Catlett, who has never had a high-profile project save for one episode of Lovecraft Country, is a revelation. Replacing a show's lead for a full episode can be dangerous, but Catlett is up to the challenge. It's always a pleasant surprise when we come across an actor who can express himself with his eyes to the point where even his students are invested in the performance, and that's exactly what he accomplishes. His Paul is plainly afraid and confused, and he never lets us miss a beat. Catlett's acting is largely responsible for keeping us interested in the first half of Paul is Dead, which depicts the identical events from episode 1 from a new perspective. Constellation cannot avoid the sensation that everything has been done before, but Catlett's effort to make Paul a relatable character adds to the tension. We feel for him as he decides, with mission control, to leave Joe's body behind, and as he is questioned by a committee formed to examine the disaster, his distress at being regarded as crazy is obvious. After all, the Cal, the experiment on which he was working so hard aboard the Is, has been discontinued in this reality for more than a decade. How can he even begin to understand what is going on with him? Paul, like the living Joe who changed places with the corpse he abandoned in space, struggles to connect with his family on Earth. Sure, his wife, Erica Rebecca Scroggs, is weirdly unconcerned about him calling her Frida, but that's not enough. Seeing Joe at the graveyard when he is laying flowers on her tomb gives him hope that she is still alive someplace else. Alice's Rosie and Davina Coleman resentment over losing her mother, body and all, and her deteriorating connection with Paul's daughter, Wendy, do little to help. Neither does his co-worker's request that he consult a psychiatrist. Increasingly disappointed, he approaches Nobel Prize laureate Henry Caldera Jonathan Banks, who acted as his mentor while working on the Cal. Paul is dead, delves into the Apollo 18 mystery of constellation. The difficulty is that Henry Caldera isn't present. As previously indicated, the Cal experiment has been abandoned in this reality. All Paul Lancaster was doing in space was tending to some plants. 
In a clever piece of editing, we see Joe talking to Alice about the cow in English alone. Joe, who speaks Swedish, a language only this universe's Alice understands, never shows her daughter the machine. To make matters worse, this world's Henry, also known as Bud, no longer works at NASA. He is a drinker who lives in a dingy flat after failing his one big trip to orbit on the Apollo 18. In reality, NASA canceled the Apollo 18 mission in the late 1970s before it even took off. That is not to say that there isn't a lot of speculation about it, especially in fiction. In Constellation, the astronaut's capsule malfunctioned, but Henry Caldera was able to fix the problem and return everyone back to Earth safely. He became a hero, as opposed to Bud Caldera, who was shunned after his mission failed and everyone save him died. Bud and Henry appear to have traded places after the critical moment when his colleagues' lives were either lost or saved, as Bud recalls events very differently than what he is told. Or so he tells Paul. While his wife worries at home about maybe putting him in an institution for mentally ill astronauts, Commander Lancaster travels to the United States to speak with the man he remembers as the soul of the cow. Bud, on the other hand, is dissatisfied with Paul's stay and repeatedly requests that he go. As he refuses, Bud pulls a revolver from a drawer and shoots Paul. Thank you for watching. Thank you.